Yeah, it's been really fun so far. Uh, probably like uh, brainstorming all the ideas. We've come up with some market research uh, to ask the public, and we and we think that um, it's yeah, it's been really good so far. My favourite part was um, well, I like thinking of ideas that we could come up with to help food cycle because I think it made us like open our minds and think more thoroughly like about what we could do and this is what people do like as their job on like a day-to-day -day basis is in come up with ideas to help their charities and um, we just kind of got a little taste for that. The best part of today was probably you just got to meet like loads of new people mm. and you worked with different people as well and from the vibe I got when we went round the offices here they kind of like to switch things around a bit so that you get to work with different people and meet new people and just it creates so many different ideas because everyone's got their own opinions. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I found today really fun, I had a really good time and I thought it was really interesting that I could um, well I got a lot of responsibility to do what I wanted to do and I don't think that responsibility is usually given to people our age so I found that really refreshing and I think we did a good job with that responsibility. This workshop has helped me understand philanthropy more. Because you get an idea on how a charity runs um, and especially people that are interested in philanthropy um, if they're not sure what they want to do in that kind of section then it helps them narrow down what they want to do. So, yeah. I don't know anything about food cycle, but I'm like I really know a lot about it now and I'm so I'm so like thankful for Rainmaker. So it means that like we can broaden our like we know a lot more charities now which we can maybe go into into the future. Um I found today very kind of eye opening in a way but then it also made me learn a lot about kind of teamwork and how to act in a group and basically it's really fun and exciting. I've learned how to um, how to sort of resolve issues in charities which is I think essentially what Rainmaker does and uh, and it's given, given me some good experience with um, this charity. I found today really inspiring and educational because I learned another side of poverty such as like food poverty and stuff because all the time in the news you hear about money poverty and stuff but I've never really heard about this side of it. Also it was a like great opportunity to get involved in some of these charities because personally before say I didn't really know that much about Rainmaker Foundation and about Food Cycle and I've left today feeling really like like I have loads of open doors into helping these charities and also um, it's I feel like I, I'm excited about learning about other charities I never really was interested about learning about charities but I can see that it's actually really fun to do it and come here and do workshops and learn about it and I'd be willing to do more because it's good to learn about it and spread the word and stuff I didn't know that they they it was like not just for homeless people or people who couldn't afford meals I like we, I didn't really know about like the community feel that it like encouraged and I think it's a really nice like charity because it's really like family like. I learnt today mainly about um, the actual charity food cycle but also there are some teamwork skills about making presentations and how we can work together on a team to get this greater presentation done because there was no way I could do it by myself. Um, but yeah, definitely food, learning about food cycle as a charity was really interesting and I, as I knew nothing about it beforehand. Do you feel that you know more about charity now than you did in the morning? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't know much about charities, um, and now I know a lot about the Rainmaker Foundation and obviously the other and one. And I've always wanted to do charity work, but I've never really felt like I had the opportunities and like the pathways to do it. But now I feel like there's loads of openings and I can get put in contact with more charities and I can really help make a difference. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like a really good day and it was like really, um, it was really fun and it helped us like learn about everything to do with the different charities that I didn't really know much before 
but now I know a lot more about both charities um, like Rainmaker and um, Food Cycle and it was just how they help people and how many people actually helped. I haven't really been involved with charity work before, um, once or twice, but not kind of quite different to what we did today, so more kind of helping, say, with just with a bucket and with trying to raise money that way. Uh, this time I was kind of thinking in a different way and kind of, it was more, um, I, I, it was, it was more interesting and more fun because I had to think and I had to interact with other people and yeah. Girls, would you recommend this to your friends? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend this to my friends because I think it's really, it's really teenage friendly. It's really like adapted to our age. Easy to understand. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. It's really yeah, nice to lay down. Yeah. I say it's some, certainly something I'd recommend to friends. Um, I mean, you have you get to obviously learn a lot about the charity you've chosen, but also um, you get to develop your entrepreneurial ideas and you really get a lot of free will in how you choose to progress in your teens. And I think that helps um, with your teamwork as well. Yeah, definitely, because it's like not many of my friends may know about like charities like this. Like I didn't, and um, most of the other group didn't. And it's it like helps people realise that there are charities out there even for like things that aren't necessarily thought of that much, um, and like to help people and like to get the word out and people will want to be able to help. And I'm sure like a lot of my friends will want to help other people like that. Yeah, definitely. So tell me about that. Because like because we're helping like come up with ideas to like help um, food cycle and how they can get the word out about the charity and that it's not just for like homeless people, it's for people who just want a good meal, like a good healthy meal and spend it with people and it's like helping um, come up with ideas to help them achieve that and help them to raise more money so they can help more people and you feel like, yeah, it's like actually you feel like you're doing something and giving back to um, human habits, best off. I think that um, workshops aimed at people our age are more just not to make us feel good, but they wouldn't actually put our ideas into use or into yeah. practice. And I think, like, Kelvin will really consider our ideas and it, it makes you feel really yeah, awesome yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I had a really good time working with the team on the ideas um, which would help um, Food Cycle improve on some of its ideas. And particularly when Food Cycle came up with some problems and we could actually find some um, partial solutions there, I found that was really enjoyable because it is an opportunity that an everyday 13 year old, 14 year old, 15 year old would get. And so I think it's really interesting. I'd say my favorite part is being able to focus on a charity. So it was really nice having Food Cycle come here. It was really nice getting to see what the actual problems they have as a charity and being able to focus on those problems and try and help them out <laughs> rather because it's easier for someone like young people to have an idea rather than just talk about charities in a general kind of way. Yeah, definitely. Even though I'm the only one that was probably 18, it was still really nice um, to be with people of all ages. Um, I don't think I would have wanted to have been with a group of just 18 year olds because it kind of takes away the fun of it. So Yeah, it was really, it was really good. good and it was like nice meeting all the other people and like have, being put in groups with them and so yeah. you like put all your ideas together and it was really good because you just, and you learnt those as well. I didn't know much about either of the charities at first but now I do. Today inspired you to want to get involved more. Mm. Yeah, definitely, because um, it's like showed us that actually loads of people helped. Like I didn't realise that there were like 1,000 chefs that um, helped with yeah. food cycle, and I thought that was like loads of people, and I didn't actually realise. And so it's kind of inspired me and been like, oh well, so many people do it, so I may as well, you know, help it help out. It's <laughs> something that I want to do. So. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the fact that there were speeches first and that we learnt about everything before we like started to like get hands on with it, <laughs> I think um, that was really good. I think it was, the day was just structured really well. Yeah. Certainly, I think it would be our school would be far better if more of these um, types of workshops were left. I had a really good time. 
Um, and I also think, yeah, it helps the teamwork and um, it gives the gives people like me a better idea about charities that I may want to go on to help with and things like that. Definitely. Um, yeah, I think other people in my school would really be interested in this. Um, just because it was really enjoyable today, yeah. I think lots of students in my school would enjoy doing this. Um, I think any opportunity is to think up new ideas and have, uh, have the feeling that you're part of something that can potentially make people's lives a lot better it would excite a lot of the people at my school. Um, so definitely here yeah, I'd advise it to all the people at my school and I think they'd really enjoy it. I would suggest to my friends that they, they got involved and I think they should give the workshops a go because I think a lot of people are like our age are really skeptical. Cool. Yeah, skeptical, skeptical, <laughs> about um, <laughs> about this kind of thing, and um, I think if they just experienced a workshop like this, and you know that they would discover that they want to help as well. Yeah, and they mm -hmm. learn a lot. Yeah.